It's 29th and Madison Avenue. It's the first edition of the Alumni Park. And I am, I'm really sorry everybody. Because, <laughs> first time we have Mike Pouncey. Then we had Jelani Jenkins. We got our third Gator on the Madison Avenue. Channing Crowder, welcome, man. Man, personalities. That's what Gators give you, baby. <laughs> Intelligence, personality, <laughs> ball players. You see, you, you had to choose three of them. <laughs> Appreciate you having me, Sam. Now you are one of the staples down here in South Florida on the radio, man. Congratulations. Yeah, man. Appreciate it. Uh, kind of knowing you, knowing you old guys. You know, we all alum now, so I'm up there with you. But, man, coming in with you with Zach, with, with Junior, with Jason, and just seeing how y'all guys did work. And then even after you retired, man, you grinding. JT grinding, Zach still grinding. So naturally, I gotta still grind because the guys I look up to on the field, now the same guys I look to off the field. So man, just to have that, that team down here and the Miami Dolphins really stick together and do a good job, man. And I've been blessed to get drafted here, and now I'm blessed to be able to live down here and have the support system I do have, man. So. I gotta appreciate you too. <laughs> you got TV shows and stuff, man. I wanna be, I wanna be like Sam. Man, how was it, you know, like you mentioned coming in and having those veteran presence guys, you know, help you and lead you onto that path? Man, it was, um, I tell the story all the time, man. I came in and you all, you know, you come in an NFL, you get drafted, how you all American, you got all the accolades in the world. Like I see Sam Madison, Junior Seau, Jason Taylor, Zach Thomas in the weight room before me. And I'm younger than them. Y'all done made seven, eight, nine, 10, 12 Pro Bowls. You know what I'm saying? And to see that, that's what it takes. This guy's that talented. This guy got $100 million because you got bread, Sam. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see that individuals are where you want to be, but they still got the grind, man. And honestly, I didn't, until I got to the Dolphins, I didn't really know what it took. I worked hard. I had all the accolades. I got the plaques at home. But when I saw the greats working hard, I saw Junior say I was in there 4 30 in the morning off a of red eye. Mm -hmm. You remember? Mm -hmm. I saw you out there. You, you'd be injured and you in the weight room right there with him because you getting your work in, even though you can't go out there and do your thing on the field, man. You just saw a guy that's been to nine Pro Bowls, eight Pro Bowls, 12 with Junior Seau, that still is grinding like a rookie. And that's what put it in my heart my whole career. Well, you ain't gonna outwork me. You might be faster, taller, bigger, whatever it is. Yeah. You can't outwork me. And I got that from y'all, man. Transitioning from college, just like you said, you know, uh, two-time SEC, yeah. All-American, first-team All-American. We see these guys, and you've been in the media, you've been watching these guys. It, it, it's kind of hard to put that real big expectation on it because you're still a young pup coming into a grown man league and you got to find the ins and the outs. Yeah, man, it's uh, it, it's it's the physical side. And I always say that if you get drafted or you have an opportunity, you big and you strong, you fast enough. It's that mental side I think a lot of young guys don't have. It's that, that I need to work, I need to outwork, I need to outthink. Zach Thomas, I need to outsmart. I was 6'2", 245, 250 when I played. Exactly, 5'10", 210. <laughs> and when you came out, I was like, yes, but we got to pick the <laughs> I, Yeah, I remember you over there. I'm <laughs> holding my proud of him, but you can get him. <laughs> you see that it's not all about bench press, squat, and power clean. It's bigger than that. How can a guy 5'10", 210 make as many Pro Bowls as Zach made? I ain't made one, big as I am. Big hip, I'm damn near a foot taller than Zach. So that's what you see, the mental side of it. And even the transition, man, guys have to understand you're special at football because you worked at football. Mm -hmm. You're not special because God just gave it to you. Mm -hmm. You have to grind to make it. So now when you retire from football, you don't retire from life. You got to keep that grind going. I jumped in the radio as soon as I could. Sure just enough. like, I'm going to jump in the first workout, and you know what I'm saying, and get the grinding. You got to keep the grind, even if you're special, if you're blessed with the radio, the, the, the uh, ability to communicate that God gave me. But if I'm sitting at home talking to a dog, I'm not making nothing with that ability. Let me go grind the same way I was in the weight room, the same way I was going to Nike camps in high school, same way I'm going to Under Armour camps. Let me continue to grind at my next level of life. And that's what I get from y'all vet still. Every time I see you on Madison Avenue, you know, on Twitter, every time I see everybody go to charity events with Zach, go to, you know, different right. things with Terry Kirby, Chris Chambers has his facility over there. I just see, man, that work ethic is in you. Yeah. Take advantage of it, because everybody don't got it. You special. The 1% of 1% of 1%, they say, is true. So how can you be that great at something, and then when that ends, you ain't great no more. You still great, you gotta grind.